Pending the results of a consultation, the government wants to allow automated driving on UK motorways in early 2021 through the introduction of automated lane-keeping systems. This will be the first time a motorist can legally watch television or respond to emails whilst the car takes over the responsibility of the driving. They will be totally disengaged and merely a passenger. So Matthew, is the imminent introduction of automated lane keeping systems a safe first step towards a self-driving future? Well, Thatcher Research and the UK insurance industry passionately believes in the safe adoption of automated driving technology. I mean, we see ultimately it will deliver safer roads. And to support this, Thatcher Research and its insurer partners identified 12 key principles which define a safe automated driving vehicle. But we have some serious concerns over the UK government's automated driving strategy because we believe it compromises safety in order to support earlier adoption of the technology. Automated lane keeping systems use sensors to control a car's position on the road. It's possible to keep the car in lane at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. However, today's technology has limitations. It's not allowed to change lanes and drivers must be ready to take control at any time. So what are the safety concerns that Thatcham Research has? Well, for a vehicle to be regarded as being automated, we believe it should be at least as competent as an engaged human driver. But there are several scenarios where an automated lane keeping system can't do that. So Matthew, I imagine that it could come with risks if the government pushes ahead as planned. Well, tomorrow's automated driving technology is actually going to be based on today's assisted driving technology. And these two vehicles have got state-of-the-art assisted driving systems. Today, you're driving and you're responsible. Tomorrow, the car will be driving and you can watch TV. To illustrate our safety concerns, if there was debris on the road, for example, a bumper cover, an automated lane keeping system may not see it and will continue in lane at its set speed. The regulations will not allow lane changes. An attentive driver, however, should recognise the hazard and attempt to move around it by safely changing lanes. Good drivers anticipate hazards to stay safe, as shown here, where a pedestrian is walking round the front of their broken down vehicle. An engaged driver would either slow to a safe speed or be able to swerve out of lane to avoid conflict. But an automated lane keeping system won't be allowed to do this. Again, it will simply continue in its lane towards the pedestrian hazard. At motorway speeds, it's often impossible to stop in time to avoid a serious collision. Closed lanes are marked with a red X on UK motorways, but an automated lane keeping system may not see it and recognise the hazard. Finally, if the driver fails to re-engage, the autonomous vehicle can only stop in lane, which is even more dangerous. So using automated lane keeping systems could actually expose drivers to serious risk. Well, the sensors on these vehicles will only be able to interpret what's ahead of them about 120 metres. Now at motorway speeds, that gives you only about four seconds to take back control and avoid a potential collision, which is not enough time. And studies have shown that you need at least 15 seconds to fully re-engage in safe driving, which means the sensor needs to be seeing 500 metres ahead, and we just haven't got that technology yet. And that means a vehicle fitted with an automated lane keeping system would only fulfil two of the 12 criteria that we've laid out in our Defining Safe Automated Driving document. So Matthew, what does Thatcham Research want to see happen to ensure those first steps towards automated driving are successful? Well, our conclusion is that this technology is not safe enough to be classified as automated. We believe that this should be regarded as assisted driving technology because the driver needs to remain alert. The government's proposed timeline for the introduction of automated driving technology must be revised. It simply isn't safe enough and its introduction will put UK motorists' lives at risk.